Here's kind of the latest thinking uh, for cloud cover forecast, kind of basically chances for optimal viewing, viewing or chances for kind of what we'll call maybe a perfect viewing situation. Central Texas, I-35 to the south, yeah, probably not very good. Lots of low-level cloud cover out that way. Uh, up in Arkansas, kind of Little Rock to the north, a lot better chances of just having sunshine overhead. Here in North Texas, low-level cloud cover, best chances for that, mostly south of DFW. The farther north and northeast you go, those low-level clouds may not be as abundant. There will still be some of that high-level cloud cover overhead, so there might be a little bit better conditions kind of the farther north and northeast you go in the path of totality in North Texas. So across DFW, I think it will basically be kind of the same forecast for everybody who's in the path, and that would be hit or miss chance for some low-level clouds and then also maybe some breaks in those clouds uh, between 1 and 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. It will be warm and breezy for eclipse time, about 76 when that partial eclipse begins. Of course, the total eclipse is from about 140 to 144, 77 or so, and then by the time the eclipse comes to an end, 79. We will stay dry through the eclipse, but tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, storms make a return along with a threat for some severe weather. A warm day today. We hit 79 for the high. Outside right now it is 79. Humidity is very low. That that humidity will increase as we head through the day tomorrow. That's why the clouds will be making a return and oak, ash and poplar continue to be high on the pollen count. We have seen high clouds today. These are the kind of clouds we want around during the day tomorrow if we can. But here comes that low level cloud cover. There's 7 a.m. tomorrow morning and I've added the lines of totality there on our time cast. There's 7 o'clock. There's 1 o'clock. So you can see maybe some breaks in the clouds here or there it may not be just Thick cloud cover everywhere, but there will be clouds around. Same thing you know, between 1 and 2 o'clock. Obviously, the uh, total eclipse happening between 140 and 144. Then as we head into the evening and nighttime hours, watch how storms start to move in from the south uh, tomorrow evening. First arriving in southern North Texas, then eastern North Texas. There's 7 o'clock. There's 10 o'clock. So kind of that round of storms between about 3 to 10 does have a chance for some to be strong to severe up to golf ball size hail, some strong wind gusts and that tornado threat would not be zero with that round of storms either. And then as we head into the overnight hours, we'll be watching for another round of storms. This one will actually move in from the west, kind of across the northern half of North Texas and that round carries a chance for kind of the same thing, maybe up to golf ball size hail, some strong winds and an isolated tornado. So kind of two windows of a strong to severe storms as we head through the day tomorrow and then more rain possible Tuesday, more rain possible Wednesday. And when it's all said and done, about one to three inches of rain potentially across the area. So an active weather pattern really starts to take shape tomorrow evening through uh, kind of Wednesday night. Light winds and cool tonight with increasing clouds tomorrow late afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Nothing happening during eclipse time, though, at least as far as rain is concerned. High coverage of rain Tuesday, high coverage of rain Wednesday. Then we dry out Thursday and Friday. We're dry for the upcoming weekend. But we get back into an unsettled pattern again as we head into next week with rain and storm chances returning. Of course, we've talked about how cloud cover is notoriously hard to predict, even just a couple hours in advance. So make sure to tune in at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning on daybreak. Greg Fields will have the latest on what to expect with Eclipse tomorrow.